So this is my second Burrow guitar build. Um, I had a, a proper plan this time. I bought the plan from the Guild of American Luthiers, um, a guitar based on the guitar of Marie Antoinette. Um, at the top of the plan it says circa 1650 to 1750, so somewhere between there. The, I built a mold so I get a nice, the correct body shape. Um, total scratch build. No prefabricated parts except for the non-traditional uh, rosette here that I bought and glued in, laser cut, um, <coughs> and the strings. And the pegs I bought, I did not make the pegs, but uh, I hand fitted them. They're left over from the first Baroque guitar build. I just reused the pegs. And I also was able to reuse the back because uh, the first guitar, first guitar, Baroque guitar build was based on <clears throat> a small glass uh, classical guitar mold that I had and then I tried to cobble it together using a modern guitar neck and everything else and uh, it just didn't work out, uh, didn't have the sound I wanted um, and so I did this with strip construction these are two strips that have been glued together side to side uh, it's only three and a quarter inches thick the plan uh, is calls for a vaulted back but I wasn't able ready to try that yet and it also tapered from like two and five eighths to you know three and something in the back with about four and a half in the center so I kind of compromised and just made the whole thing not four inches but three and a quarter um, thick the top is um, Western Cedar, book matched. Uh, bought it from a guy in Alaska as, a, as, a, as an off, non matching guitar top. So it was 10 bucks for the wood on the top, but I think it sounds okay. Um, side is cherry, neck is all cherry. Um, <clears throat> peg head, this piece has been grafted in, and this is hard rock maple so that I have a nice bearing surface for my rosewood pegs, not ebony. And um, I've got a, a maple bridge and, um, and the back is hard maple alternated with uh, purple horn. And I finished it all in walnut oil, a very, very nice uh, finish. Very, totally non-toxic. Uh, people use it to finish wooden bowls for turning. And I just thought I'd try it out and I really liked it. Um, doesn't have the smell like linseed oil and it dries out really quickly. Um, the fretboard is ebony. I actually had a piece of ebony that I was able to split and kind of build up. Uh, the bone is nut and I glued wooden frets on. I had uh, cherry strips that I just kind of worked with and because I really wanted to try to get a really nice low action and I had a little bit of trouble when I was gluing up. I had a little bit of a, of a dip in here um, even though I was very conscious of that I was trying to get the neck straight. Um, that's why I built up the fingerboard just a little bit more but I have a pretty pretty decent action on it in the and the strings have been stretching out uh, for four days. I, don't, I still don't think they're there yet. They're the medium tension guitar strings from LaBelle. I have a couple of the hard tension sets on the way. Um, I haven't been able to figure out what kind of strings I really want to put on it yet. I think uh, it's probably one of the most sensitive instruments I've ever picked up. Um, really, really light touch, very subtle to get the sound out of this. It's going to take me a while to relearn how to play or to play this particular style of instrument. It really makes me excited about trying to build a lute and uh, just really potential for an expressive instrument here, I think. But I think a better job on this one for sure. Uh, hope the next one will be even better. Um, I did spend time racing the top properly. I went with a couple of the harmonic bars according to the plan with not too much alteration and then I did add one bar in the front here that I really uh, worked on. Uh, I just thinned it to about three millimeters and uh, 
I didn't tap tune. I mean, I tapped the top, but uh, you know, uh, trying to listen. But and the other thing I did was I actually used real high glue to glue the the tone bars in the braces and to glue the top onto the body of the guitar. The rest of the guitar is put together with various kind of mixed woods, some liquid high glue, some more olfactic resins and stuff like that. But I wanted to go ahead and make an effort to use the true uh, granulated high glue and see if it made a difference in the sound. Um, so, guitar build number two. The neck is pretty clunky. You can see I just yeah, to smooth that off. I'll be refining this and uh, trying to figure out proper strings to put on it to make it more playable. Thanks for watching. More to come.